This video demonstrates the modeling of a full cross-section composite spring. The layup for the model is made of plus and minus 45 layers, a core, and a unidirectional roving that follows the helical shape of the spring. Here's the model in the ACP pre-system. I've defined the layup based on the shell's reference surface. In this case, the outer surface of the spring. This illustration shows the final layup definition, as shown by fiber directions. The thickness of each single ply. Each ply has a constant thickness. And the section cut. Here's my solid model in mechanical, where I mesh the volume of the spring. The mesh is independent of the layup definition. This enables me to control mesh quality as well as making the process robust and efficient. Note that the application supports loading external meshes. From the Workbench project schematic, I transfer the solid mesh into ACP. The solid mesh appears as an imported solid model object. I use this object to configure the layup mapping. For example, I can configure which area of the shell layup, as well as which plies the application maps onto the solid. Also note that the mapping process does not require that the shell and solid meshes be coincident. They can even have different element sizes, or new mesh shapes, linear or quadratic. Once the mapping is complete, I can easily check the extent, thickness distributions, fiber orientations, etc. of each single ply in the solid mesh. At this point, I can use the imported solid model that includes mapped layup definitions in downstream mechanical analyses using the standard solid model workflow. Here is the model in mechanical. The application imported the mapped plies. The application presents plies just like it presents composite shells and composite solids. In addition, the application transferred the named selections of the solid mesh. This ensures associativity. In this example, I'm simulating compression on the spring using a static structural analysis. Once solved, I can view the compression using the total deformation result. As illustrated here, I can use the Composite Failure tool to investigate the overall or plywise safety of the composite structure as normal. This enables me to study different failure modes in the woven fabrics, core material, and UD roving. See the ANSYS Composite Prep Post online documentation for additional information and examples of the layup mapping feature. That concludes this video demonstration. Thanks for watching.